Hello there, I am Giant Crowed with my Pokemon Emerald. Almost said fire from there. But anyway, um, in this part, well, in the last part, we took on our dad, and we, uh, we may have done that last, last part, I can't remember. But I remember we took on that secret area with trainers with that veteran dude, and the battle girl, and the black belt guy. Um, yeah, and we surfed around for some items, I guess. I guess that's what we did in the last part. And my team is around 29 and 30, which is awesome. I'm going to keep Prime up to the front. I don't know why, but Prime is a star because I'm surfing on Peter, I guess. So Prime needs to get some. Ah, what I was about to say before I got rudely interrupted by that tentacle is that Prime needs some battle time. I feel that if Prime isn't the one that I'm surfing on, then Prime should get some battle time for this water route, I guess. And if to, uh, I forgot to put a repel on, I think I got repels um, in the last part or whatever. Let's see, super repels, and that's about it. Um, I'll just, oh, I didn't get super repels, I guess, because I only have five left. So yeah, we're going to have to use them as best we can. And here's a battle. So do you know a little town called Dufoot? I was just there. It's just west of us. Swimmer female trainer named Denise. Haha. <laughs> Okay, Wingle. I'm gonna try to get a roll combo on this thing because Wingle is weak to rock type Pokemon because it's part flying. Or sh I should say half flying. It's half flying, half water type. Man, maybe in the next Pokemon game, um, in the next generation, they'll have Pokemon that have three types. That'd be cool. What do you guys think? I don't know. Three types would be pretty crazy. I mean, we already have triple battles, like double battles and single battles, but we have triple battles. Why not have triple types? Then we could have a triple type advantage. Oh, that'd be rough and competitive battle if you were triple weak to something. I couldn't, ima I couldn't imagine that. I don't want to imagine that, actually. Because that'd like, be a bad thing, and we don't want that. <laughs> Unless it's really... Um, you can accommodate your team and actually be very creative, I guess, and be, be very strategic on how to cover your weaknesses, but with a third added type, or with a third type added to each Pokemon, probably, or some, it's gonna be hard to, you know, balance it all out, but people are actually pretty creative when they come up with, with competitive teams. Like, um, I remember when I had Pokemon Y, and I got text message. Okay, as I was saying, like, for example, as I said, um, when I was playing Pokemon Y and doing um, battles against like people online, with I guess it gets a competitive battle in a bit. But I wasn't, I'm not really a competitive battle in Pokemon. But there was this guy who had a um, had a Gliscor, and his ability was uh, Poison Heal, and he had this orb. I think it was like the Poison Orb or something that had. That made the help Pokemon that has it holding it poisoned, and um, I didn't notice this till actually started healing up. I was like, "Wow, he must have an ability that uh, heals poison when you have poison, when you're poisoned." And I thought that was really good strategy. So it's a lot to think about when you're making a competitive team. You gotta think about like what Pokemon you want on it, how to cover your weaknesses. Um, I know Matt uh, uh, Pissword, also known as Pissword, he. Has a, he has a Smeargle that is just basically a setup Pokemon, like it, it knows uh, Toxic Spikes and Spikes, I think, it knows um, Spiderweb or something like that, some of the, like, the moves that you would think just to set up on Pokemon, and yeah, and my get my cousin is still t is texting me, I just, I basically, I was going through my clothes the other day, and my mom wanted me to get rid of all the clothes that didn't fit, you know, and so the first dips went to my cousin, my little cousin, and he um, should like him because I had a lot of old Nintendo shirts and I had a Kingdom Hearts shirt and he likes Kingdom Hearts and Nintendo and Mario and all that. I had a lot of Mario shirts too that didn't fit me, so hopefully he likes them. But I want to actually record this video first before I respond to him. I mean, I could respond to him right now, but I don't want to keep you guys waiting. I could edit it out, but I don't know. Maybe I'll edit out like... um later on or something. Maybe I'll cut again later on and edit it out. So I can have time to respond to his text. And Swimmer Tony registered us in his Pokemon and we did it as 
we registered his name in our Pokemon app, and we did the same. There's another swimmer. He drifted off to the sleep while drifting in the waves. That's actually not safe when they're below like the ocean. And, um, you see, you just fell asleep in the water, and what if your current pulled you down under the water? That would be bad. So, honestly, that's not really a good idea. Let's try another wall combo. It seems to be working. No, I don't want to be confused. This is great. I see ducks. I see rubber duckies, guys. At least Prime does. Acid. It's a poison type move. Let's hope we can hit. I see duckies again. Aw, oh, man. Okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should get strict. Tackle attack. And it's confused again. Oh, great. There we go, tackle. Nice. They're cool. I'm gonna actually switch out. And I'm gonna go to, um... Jeez, who do I wanna go to does? I forget what moves Knight has, because it's been a long time since I've recorded this game, honestly. Yeah, I'll, t I'll put in Knight. I, f I believe Knight can take this tentacle down. I just gotta believe in myself. Gotta believe. And let's use um, Headbutt first, just make it flinch. And thank you for messing with your supersonic, I appreciate it. One more Headbutt, there we go, we're faster than it. At least that time. A Wingle, huh? Let's just keep ourselves in, I guess. But this time we're gonna try our tank down attack. And hopefully it'll hit. Oh, that's faster than me. Okay, that won't do too much because I'm quad resistant to it. But yeah. There we go, one hit KO. Nice. Okay, now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch Knight up to the front because Knight seems to be rocking it out. And oh, what? Prime is almost level. Th Prime is level 30 anyway, so you know. I'm surfing on my Pelipper. A double battle. Nice. We challenge you as a sister and brother. Double battle. So Blaine is in my second slot. So Blaine will be helping out with this double battle. We send Ray. I guess Ray is the bro and Lisa is the sister. Yeah, pretty self-explanatory right there. I'm going to use the headbutt on the tentacle and then we'll use the uh, double kick on the tentacle. Just to make sure that tentacle was an annoyance. So we can just knock it out. It's not very effective, but I did half, bro. Haha. <laughs> Over half HP, actually. Okay, the bubble beam hits. That's gonna hurt Blaine a little bit, because it's um, weak against water types. It does about a third. And that water spell will lower the power of um, fire type moves. But that headbutt should take it on the tentacle. And there we go. Now we need to deal with the Goldeen. Let's try a takedown. I'm kind of feeling risky today. And even the. Well, I can try double kick. Yeah, I'll try double kick. I was gonna go with the flamethrower, but then again, I forgot that the water. I knew that the water sport might have weakened down. Did weak down my fire type move power. Powers. Hee hee hee. I didn't say that right. Haha. -ha. Okay. Awesome. You're in a different class of tough. Thanks for the $6. I really appreciate it. $6 can get me. About five cheeseburgers at McDonald's off the dollar menu, cause you know only five because it, cause if it was six, it'd be six dollars plus tax. See what I did there? I accommodated for the tax right there. Another double battle. Let's take it on. I could these two could these two could be single battles if you talk to them individually, but I want to do double, uh, double battles, cause they're fun. And I'm gonna take the time to. You know, respond to my little cousin again, so let me take the time to do that. Hey, it's summer, you guys. I'm recording this on the 21st of May, around 6.15 p.m. Central Standard Time. So, yeah. And uh, t today was my day of school. Um, as you know, I'm in high school. Uh, this fall, I'll be a senior in high school, which is awesome. I just finished my junior year. I... By now, I'm pretty sure my grades are five A's and two B's, and that's a about a 3.7 grade point average, which is awesome. I'm pretty sure my all my um, all the rest of my grades, all my finals that haven't been put in yet, will probably be 
won't lower it, won't ruin my A's for those classes. Like, um, I don't have my a grade in, what was it? I don't have my grade in tech theater or my English class. So, but I'm pretty sure I got a good grade and I didn't like do so bad that it lowered me down a little grade and I had A's in those classes, um, but the day of the exam. So I hope to feel pretty good about that. You know, two A's or two B's and five A's isn't that bad, you know. And as you hear, my phone keeps on going off. Uh, I should use the. Okay, this might work out. I was gonna use the flamethrower and star you, but then I forgot that star you has a lot of good special defense, as I've been told. A fair good amount, I guess. And I guess we'll just take down this Goldeen. And then my little cousin again texts you back, you know. I'm a popular guy, you guys. We're just having a conversation while I'm recording a video. He <laughs> on oh, that mud slap headbutt, and we'll use. Well, I guess we could just run through on this. Start you. It's gonna use swift, which won't do much against my knight because it's quad resistant to it. Because it's steel and rock type, and those both resist normal type moves. And this headbutt that's coming up should faint the star you. There we go. Nice teamwork, knight and plane. You did very well. Beth and Cameron were defeated. It wasn't good enough for you. That exhausts me. Thanks for the $12.48, guys. I really appreciate it. I'm getting the polka dollars to- Ah. Uh, okay, if I can faint this pillow prey, that'd be awesome. Because it might lead to me to tell level up. So hopefully this takedown takes it down, and it does. I just ran over it, ran into it because it was a glove with my knight. That's the reason I ran into it. It was because I didn't have a pillow on, because I did. And that wasn't quite level 30, but that's okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, sadly my knight fainted, so I'm gonna have to revive it. I have one revive. Jeez. I'm gonna use it on knight, I guess, because knight's so worth it, because he's awesome. And as you see, um, I didn't want to commentate there, but like, playing which level 30. So it's nice. So, you know, Knight's someone who hasn't reached level 30 yet, so, and he's really close to actually, he's like really close to, I noticed it. And I'm gonna just take on this battle on you. What I'm gonna do is, I love, okay, first I read the dialogue. I love the sea, I forget all my worries when I swim. That's good to know. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send Knight out, and I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna call him back, and then I'm gonna send out like a Pokemon that hasn't got any screen time in this part. And then hopefully that'll be enough to level up night, and it should look as experience bar. So I'm gonna just call him back, and I'm gonna send out Speedy, my Lynoon. And hopefully Lynoon can take this Goldeen out to dinner. And you confuse me, okay? So, I forgot, oh, I think I forgot that I had the yellow fruit. Cause that's how long it's been since I've recorded this game. Since I've recorded this game. Now, that I'm at some, now that I'm on summer vacation for 2015, I have time to like record and edit and upload as much as I want. Although I do have other plans, like I wanna learn how to drive. That's a biggie. I'm going on a couple of vacations and I'm doing a, one of my school programs in the summer too. So, it's gonna be an exciting summer for me. And I'm, I can't wait to be a senior in the fall, it's gonna be awesome. But, you know, I, it also comes with, okay, this is gonna hurt because it has a little HP. Okay, not that bad, but still. But what's gonna um, stink is after my senior year, most of my friends are going in different places for college. I mean, Sam and Matt are still gonna go in the same college area as I am, as far uh, as of right now. It could change, you know. It depends on like, what the scholarships they get or it might change their mind if they want to go somewhere else. But as it stands right now, Sam and Matt should stay in the same area as me. Like we both, we're gonna plan on either going to a university near our uh, house, our, uh, houses, like where our, pa our parents' houses, I guess, or we're gonna go to um, uh, some of the close um, col uh, community colleges in my area, which is nice. But like um. I don't know where Gus is gonna go. Like he, as I told you, he's moved. He moved to Minnesota because his dad got a cool job there. And I, Doug, I don't know. Uh, I still think Michael will still be in the same state as us, but that could change too. I don't know. And. 
I think Knight is level 30, and I'm gonna actually switch to Speedy. My team's kind of half beat up, half not, but we'll see, I guess. We'll see how that happens, but how that does. Oh, are you going to the Bandit Ship too? Yes, I am, actually. Now that you, you know, bring it up. Carvana? I knew it. <laughs> he has a Carvana. And strength that. Strength. There we go, nice. Rough skin hurts, ouch. Summer Matthew, I'm sinking gold gold. That's not very. Oh man, we gotta get to the, the shore, man. Thanks for the two dollars and eight cents, I really appreciate it. I think right here is a protein. Come on, there's gotta be a hit I'm here. I, I thought there was. No, I, no, no I, I thought there was a hit I'm here. No, I th oh man, I misled you guys. I thought there was a I'm on this rock, but apparently not, because I'm clicking everywhere and it's not popping up with anything. So I'll just go back on our Pelper and Surf. Here's the abandoned ship, which is nice. Let's just go in it, you know. I think music here is really nice. So as you go, like you can go up first in this one. This trash can says I'm empty and speaks to you. Here is a double battle. I figure who's in my second slot though. Someone's curious, I don't know. I've been found, huh? Oh, I see you guys have been trapped in here for like the whole game. <laughs> Up to this point. You just stay here because you're programmed to stay in here, bros. Okay, well, I'm going to six again. I got a line you in and a, in a um, Blaze again. Now Blaze is going to come busking, my bad. Blaze comes at level 36, baby. So I'm going to get strength on the Whammer and double kick on the Zigzagoon. Let's see how much this Whammer takes from us. Ah, oh, so close. Okay. Hopefully this double kick takes out the Zigzagoon. Oh, I could have got nice. I like it. So there goes the Zigzagoon. He's down for the count. Ah, uh, okay. Electric. Okay. A water gun. Ouch. Not on the plane. Not on the plane. Fine. You know what? We're gonna have to use strength. Oh no. We can use headbutt on you. And I'll just flamethrower on the electric. There we go. Nice. Hopefully Blaine doesn't faint by this battle. I hope not. Uh it's gonna be another water type of one. Oh, okay, it's gonna be hoist. That's reasonable actually. I don't like that sound. Da 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 <laughs> Gets kinda of annoying. Strength on the hoisey and double kick on the hoisey. Hopefully we both go first. Okay good there. Never mind the hoisey fainted from the strength. Nice. Thank you. The beeping has stopped for now. No you're no you're just curious no you're strong. I don't know. Oh you're not my mom. <laughs> Thanks for the twenty four dollars guys. I really appreciate it. You're such a, you're such a tough trainer. Let me register you in my as my memento. Uh huh. Beauty Te Telthia. I, I can't even pronounce that name right. I'm so bad with pronunciations. Okay, I'm gonna use a potion on Blaine. I'm gonna actually use like two potions on Blaine. I have like 12 after all. I'm gonna use a potion on Prime. And I'm gonna use a potion on Knight just to keep them all alive because I know I don't have any more revives because there's my only one on Knight by the way in this part. So you know. If you go up here, this guy doesn't battle you, but like this guy says, ships of this sort are rare. I'm so I'm taking a look around. Hmm, there appear to be other cabins. Nice. Tell us back to Waffle. Okay, we're in a ship anyway, so that there's no Waffle one. What do you have to say? Isn't it fun in here? I got excited just being here. Nice. Go down these steps to stairs. Now, for right now, this door will be locked, but we'll get the key later on, hopefully in this part. Storage is printed on the door. And there's actually something we want in there. I won't spoil what it is, though, because I, I want you guys to, like... Well, this game came out in, like, 2004 or 5, I think. Hmm. Around there. 2004 or 5. Because I know Diamond and Pearl and Platinum. Well, Diamond and Pearl came out in, like, 2007. And Putnam came in on like 2009 and so forth. Okay, so uh, Duncan the Sailor sent out a spiel. Nice. We're so close to level 31. What's your strength on that spiel? And 
Yep, yeah, defensive. Okay, hopefully this will be enough to hold me up. 400 experience, let's see. Yep, level 31, nice. One choke, huh? Okay, good. Good thing you're sending one choke. I'm gonna send out Peter, who hasn't got any screen time in this, or at least battle time, in this part, because, you know, he got surfing uh, credit when he surfs for me. So, you know, I'm gonna use an attack on it. Hopefully this thing goes down. Okay, nope, not exactly. Revenge, I'm just gonna hurt, it's gonna be double. But again, I'm not I'm resistant to it, because it's fighting type and I'm a flying type. Let's just use the shockwave to faint it, because it'll never miss. Tee <laughs> And there goes the Machoke, all quite, quite nice. I'll take it. Sailor Duncan was defeated. Whoops, I sunk. I'm sunk, I don't know. I read that wrong, I think. Eight dollars. Thanks for the dollars, man. I really appreciate it, bro. Okay, Speedy can go at the right bottom. Now let's put Shrooms to the second slot. Okay, right here is an open door. This guy will just talk to you. I forget what it says. Herb. I'm getting queasy. It's just being aboard the ship. It's not even moving, but. This trash can says I'm empty. You can't really invest in these beds, they're just like decoration. And in here, we'll come back to this later if I decide to do like an after game or something. Cause, well we can come back later after a certain gym badge. I want so, uh, you need dive basically to get access this part. Which I might cover in an after game video, or maybe later when we get to that point, I don't know yet. Just depends on how I feel about it. I think this is an escape rope. Yes, I was right, escape rope, nice. Again, those beds aren't rest, you can't rest on them. And in here is another item, a dive ball, which is actually really good for when you use dive and you go underwater. It's good for those kind of Pokemon that are like found in the seaweed underwater when you use dive. So that's awesome. Save that for like, um, uh, ch uh, ch 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 Yeah, Chinchow, the water and electric type Pokemon, um, uh, from the Johto region, I think. And, it's found underwater, that's one Pokemon, and then the Clam Pearl, or whatever it's called, it's like a clam, and then you see the little pearl, I don't know, sweet. I don't know how to, like, explain that kind of Pokemon, really, yeah, it's a ship, well, I kind of just did, but, like, it's hard to explain to, like, a visual, go on here, and, oh, we have a double battle, great, strength in comparison, shrinking compassion, there we go, so, the, those are a trainer's true treasures, uh, those are trainers treasures. I'm not good at swimming, but I'm good at battles. Let's take on this hiker and this tuba girl. Tuba, yeah. Sand slash and barrel. Okay. Oh, I think I know what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use Surf on the... Uh, both of them, I guess. And then I'm gonna use Mega Drain on the barrel. Oh, I did. Okay, fine, whatever. Did this surf miss? Okay, no, okay, good. Hopefully that just takes out the sand slash. There we go, quick look, nice. Nice as ice. Oh, so close to taking out the barrel. So close. Now, roll out. That's super effective on my Peter. Choose Shockwave on the Meryl and Mock Punch on the Meryl. Mock Punch will hit first, of course. There we go. There we go, they were defeated. Ah, uh, there's something about you that sparkles. Oops, that didn't go very well. Thank you for the $16.64, guys. I really appreciate it. I like getting money. Money, money, money. Okay, here's a revive. Nice. I would have two revives, but I used one earlier in this part, so you know. Oh, here's another, another double battle, let's take it on. I think this is a young couple. Young couple, huh? Okay, bug type Pokemon. Well, I have a flying type. That's good. And then I can use, like, headbutt if my... Does my shroom still know headbutt? I even forget. Nope. Um... We'll use the Mach Punch then. And then the wing, the wing attack should faint. 
Hotelgo. Huh. Oh, uh, raises its special attack. Yep, there we go. It sharply raises its special attack. There we go. Let's use Mach Punch on the other Pokemon. I can never pronounce that Pokemon's name. Elmi's. 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 I don't. I don't know. Okay, a wish. If it comes true, I think it'll heal um, itself. But it's already fainted. Sorry. How nice! Thanks for the sixteen dollars. Oh, you make me so angry. I'm gonna register you for that. <laughs> register for that. Yeah. All because I make you angry. Thanks. Uh, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. Here's a battle with another tuber. What's so funny about having an inner tube, having my inner tube around aboard the ship? I didn't say anything. My character really doesn't speak in this game. So don't jump to conclusions, Tuber Charlie. Just don't. Okay, Peter should be close to level 31. Oh, he's really close to level 31. I'm gonna use the shockwave on this whale. I like how Apollo Pick an extra one shockwave. That's pretty cool. Ah, oh, so close. Another rollout. I'm sick of the rollout used on my Pelipper. That's not very nice. I can only use it, man. Let me attack on that mail. There we go. Nice. I like it. Oh, 31 for Peter. Thanks for a great battle, Tipper Charlie. Whoa, you overwhelmed me. Uh, thanks for the dark force and I like it. I like it, man. I'm gonna put Peter to the bottom. I'm going to put shrimps to the front. And if we go over here. If we talk to this guy. I'm investigating the ship on behalf of Captain Stern. He also asked me to find a scanner, but I'm, uh, I haven't had any success. Now, that'll be... Um, we'll do that later on if I do decide to do the, the little after game, whatever, show it. In the, um, oh, I'm still doing the walkthrough guide. But anyway, here's what we came for, the storage key. Now, remember that door that we came into the ship that said storage? Well, the storage key goes to it, so now we can unlock that. And as we make our way back, we can just, you know, enjoy our little walk around the ship. And we, we don't get seasick. Oh, why I do that? We don't get seasick, so that's awesome. And right here's the door. Up here, right here, there we go. Go to enter the turn, and turn the storage key. The, the insert key struck fast but the door open nice and here's what it came for tm13 ice beam this is a really good tm i recommend you if you have a nice type of water type pokemon or any mix attack uh mix attack of pokemon that can wear an ice beam i'd recommend it because ice beam is just a really 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 you know it's a good move and it's very useful i should say this trash can says I'm empty, but we're gonna teach that to our. We're gonna teach that to Prime actually, not Peter, but Prime. So as I dig it for it, and we use ice beam. Yeah, we'll use ice beam on Peter. See, I'm um, speed can even learn it. He's a mixed attacker. Yeah. Yes. Let's get rid of. I'm gonna get rid of tackle, honestly. Just get rid of tackle. Prime white ice cream, nice. There we go. The only female on my team I recognize is actually playing my starter. That's kind of cool, actually. You know, the 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 leader, and he, it's also a lady. How awesome! A girl, <laughs> a girl Pokemon, nice. So as we exit the abandoned ship, here we go. And I'm gonna end the part right off here, but first I'm gonna put a pill on, just so we don't have to do that to be in the next part, I guess. I don't know. I only have three super pills after this, okay. Who would I have up front if we get F shrooms up front? Okay. So this being then my po end of my Pokemon Emerald Walk the guide part in the next part we'll take on the rest of this water route and hopefully make it to Marvel again. Ooh. 
pretty awesome. So let's see Jaco again. I like them much again. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys next time my Pokemon Emerald walkthrough guide.